And so Montesquieu put forth the idea that there should be a separation of powers. A separation of powers. And that government should look something like this. That there should be an executive part of government, which is what we have in the presidency today, a legislative part of government, which is what our Congress is, and then a judicial part of government. And each of those different parts of government should have power, but those powers should be balanced and should be a check on each other. So you have a tremendously powerful government, as Locke spoke about, but at the same time, the powers within government are divided. The next leader that comes along, the next writer that comes along, is a gentleman named Rousseau, Jean-Jacques Rousseau. And Rousseau is going to state that government is actually a contract. A contract. And when we sign contracts, contracts are agreements between people. So Jean-Jacques Rousseau says a contract between the government and the people is called a social contract. Rousseau would say that, just like Locke said, the government's job is to protect our basic rights of life, liberty, and property. And if the government does anything besides that, because the people have a contract with that government, the people have a right to back out of the contract and to make a new government for themselves. The last of the Enlightenment thinkers that talk about redefining government is a Lee's is, if you will, with Voltaire, if you think of the big V for Voltaire, and you put it sounds much like his name. He's actually French, Rousseau, R-O-U-S-S-E-A-U, -S -S -E sounds like Rousseau, and if you just drop down the so in Rousseau, Rousseau-social contract. Rousseau-social contract is a way to remember Rousseau, okay? Montesquieu, of all the Enlightenment writers, his big idea is this, separation of powers. Montesquieu, Montesquieu, U-I-E-U. If you separate out this very long name, you have kind of the concept of separation of church and state. So our longest one we're going to separate, separation of powers, separation of church and state. Rousseau, we have Rousseau-social contract.